I wish I li- like I genuinely wish that this never happened because I out of all my years of doing YouTube, I never wanted this to happen. And the fact that I have to do this video, I because here's the thing, I never once wanted to make a video like this. But the fact that YouTube is really making me do this and the fact that I just cannot stand what's been going on for the past three years that's been happening three years ago. Literally, keep this in mind. So what I'm talking about, well, okay, l- before we get into that, let's talk about this first. So literally, three years, three years after a video that I uploaded, three years after a video that I uploaded years ago, and the fact that YouTube had to dig deep down into my channel, they had to get, they had to dig so deep in there, so deep, f- for, to, just to find a video from three years ago, just to give me something like this, is disgusting. You know, I thought we were on good terms, you know, I thought we were best friends, literally, and the fact that you're bringing up of, and the fact that you're bringing up something from three years ago is just so petty. So if you guys can already tell, earlier today while I was in school, I get a notification from YouTube saying that they gave me a community guideline strike from a video that has been here for three years. Three years. This video has been on this video has been on the platform for three years, and literally three years later, three after three years of thinking, they just decided to take it down with no context. Like, like this is my main question right here. Why couldn't this happen the second I uploaded this on that day of the year? So like, so like, since it's a whole new year, they just decided to just dig deep down into their bag and find something to make my channel look bad. It's just so petty and childish. The video that was flagged from YouTube was just a random video I found and I added sound effects to make it more scary and realistic. Keep in mind, I was 14 years old when I made this video. I was bored, I didn't know what video to make, so I stumbled upon a video where a dude went into his house and realized that his front door was wide open. So at that moment, he realized that someone has broken into his house, so he pulled a pistol and he was checking around the house. And when he opened a specific room, he opened the door, he bammed the door open, and the next thing he saw was a scary killer clown running at him full speed. And when he got closer, what does he do? He shoots him. Like straight up shot him. And that was it. The video ended. That was literally it. And what makes me more mad about that video is that the original video that I use for the sound effects that I use just to add the, the sound effects on it is still on YouTube with the age restriction strike. Keep that in mind. The old, see, the, the remake version that I made had a community guideline strike and it's removed, but this one, the original, is still on here with the age restriction strike. Like, an age restriction strike, don't get me wrong, it still sucks, and that's fine. Like, you know, people could still watch the video. The video's still up there. You just have to verify your age. That's literally it. There's nothing wrong with that. But the fact that, literally, the fact that I just take the video, I didn't just take the video, I just borrowed the video, I and, and what even made it crazy is, is that I linked the original video. So I was giving the original creator some credit. Maybe that, I don't know. I just, I still don't know why to this day. Like, all I did was added little edits that I thought would make the video more dramatic that gets a community guideline strike. Literally, why? And the reason why it got striked is because they sense violent and graphic content. And I'm thinking like, dude, wait, what do you mean? Like, like, okay, see, like, that's what I don't understand. Like, and what I was expecting now, let me tell you guys this. Now, before I even made that video, I was thinking, I was like, I was really debating if I should upload that video or not because of what was in that video and the sound effects. I was literally debating the whole entire time whether or not if I should upload it. And the second I uploaded it, nothing was like, literally, nothing was wrong. Everything was fine. You know, I've gotten a few comments here and there saying like, yo, this video was crazy. You should do more, add more sound effects and stuff like that, right? But literally three years, like three years later of YouTube just thinking the fact that they had to bring this up just to make my channel look bad and just to give me a very, very, very dangerous strike on my channel is just disgusting. Literally, I just don't understand and I don't know what it is. So literally, the original video is still on here. Now, I could put a link. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to show you guys the video because, of course, I don't want this video to get another copyright strike or whatever, whatever it is, another strike, which I understand, okay? I understand. I just saw the video was wanted to, like, literally, all I did was I saw the video. I just wanted to remake it. I was bored. I just added a few edits to it here and there. Literally, all I added was sound effects. That was it. I didn't add any, like, special CGI effects or whatever, right? 
So I just remade it and didn't think anything of it. And I uploaded it three years ago. And I decided, like literally, three years ago, I uploaded it and I decided, man, what is everyone going to think about this video? See, like, but here's the thing. Keep in mind, I was still debating if I should upload this video or not. Still. Because I was thinking, like, I mean, I understand what, how the viewers are going to see it. But what is YouTube going to say? Literally, it's like three years go by and they just decided, they just went like this. Um, hey Andre, uh, you remember that clown shooting video you did with more sound effects and made it more scarier or made it more dramatic? Well, after three years of thinking, we're just gonna not let that slide and let you and just give you this community guideline strike. And yeah, we're just gonna get it over with. So literally, so it was like they were picking favorites at this point and they just decided to take my version down and let the original one stay there with like with one little age restriction. I would have expected them to double down like I would have expected the person who uploaded that video get a strike too. But no, they never did it. Literally, they never did it. And it drives me insane just thinking about it. And you know, I did have a feeling this was going to happen sooner or later, but I did not expect it to happen literally three years of them changing their minds and or them to double down. I was expecting them to double down. Like I was expecting it to happen sooner or later, but I didn't expect it three years later of it happening, which is so insane and so crazy to me. And I can understand, like, I understand the violent and the graphic part, but the question still remains. Why would you take down my version from a video that I didn't even own and I just wanted to remake it just to make it more realistic and more scary just for fun and you guys still had the original video that I used still to be on the platform which makes no sense. Like literally, does that make any sense to you guys? I mean, if I made a mistake, I made a mistake. Just tell me what I can do to fix it and what I can do to not let it happen again. It's that simple. You need to explain. And you know, after this happened, I did some hard thinking about this. Like, I've been really thinking if I want to argue with YouTube about this appeal, like literally been thinking about it. Do I want to appeal to this? So in fact, of me just going back and forth and just starting drama, I just decided to let it go and let them do their thing. And after watching Corey Kenshin's video about him getting a copyright strike, that instantly made me take action and make this video to call out YouTube about this. And out of all my years of doing YouTube, I never wanted this to happen. But for that video, I was really debating if I should upload that video or not because I was so nervous. Like, I was so nervous. Keep that in mind. I was nervous, not only for what everyone was going to think, but what was YouTube going to think now? Like, Literally, what were they going to think? And now I know why. So I just wanted to inform you guys about what's been going on and everything that's going on in my life. And this is just this. This is just something I want to get off my chest so bad because I live like because literally I want to get this off my chest because now I have to live with this for three months. The community guideline strike will expire on May 31st. Keep that in mind. On May 31st, that's when the community sh guideline strike will go away. Which makes me feel a little bit better, so to speak. And, you know, that community guideline strike, it will expire. So it makes me feel a little bit better, so to speak. And I was just shocked by how long I got to wait just to get this threat off. Like, just to get this threat note off my head. <sighs> so, you know, it's just... I, I, I don't understand anymore. It's just, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to start any drama or anything. This is just something that I just never wanted to happen. I just, you know, wanted to inform everybody about this and just, I, I desperately did not want this to happen at all. Out of all my years of doing YouTube, I never wanted to get a community guideline strike. I've dealt with a few copyright strikes and that was nothing. It wasn't going to affect my channel, but still though, a community guideline strike is just insane. So, a little advice for any new upcoming YouTubers out there, be sure to never make these mistakes and always be safe and have fun with your channels. But with all being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.